Hey, what's going on guys? Dalton here, back with another episode of DC Collects. Today we're going over the new Spider-Man pops that just dropped for the new movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Let's get collecting. I hope everyone's doing well today. Before we get into the new Spider-Man pops, I did just want to mention this as well. I think it's going to be an amazing year for Funko, guys. They are celebrating their 25 years of fun, so that's 25 years of Funko, and I think we're going to get some really sick pieces this year to really commemorate the celebration for Funko. So one of the cool things that we're already seeing is this really amazing Captain America Soda Entertainment Earth exclusive limited to 20,000 pieces, but this is super sick, guys. This is when he's got the shield and Mjolnir and he's fighting Thanos at the end of Endgame and then the chase is going to be him metallic with the broken shield and battle scarred so like this is an amazing soda this is just the epitome of perfection from Funko love it I will drop a link in the description below for that one, guys. And then getting into these Spider-Man pops, guys, like I said, I think we're going to be in for an amazing year ahead for Funko. This 25 years, I think they're really going to do some nice stuff, and we're starting off on the right foot with these Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse pops. So first up, we do have the Spider-Man India, and he is looking super sick. Kind of reminds me of the Lucha Libre figures a little bit, but definitely way different, and I just love the detail that they're putting in into this one there's also an fye exclusive maybe that one's going to be metallic i'm not too sure what's going on there but then we also have this spider punk and that's going to be a funko shop exclusive really like that one we also saw a spider punk from the gamerverse line a few years back next to him guys we do have the spider bite she is looking super sick her arms look like they're mechanical and she looks like she has basically that looks like circuits running through her hair so i really love that pop and then one of my favorites by far is definitely the Scarlet Spider. So again, he has another Funko Pop that came out. It's actually a fairly old Pop, Walgreens exclusive. But I love that what they did with this one. I love the black on the mold here, guys. How the black showing the shadow. More like a comic book version. So I think that's super sick. And then Spider Woman here, guys. So I really love this Spider Woman. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I love it when they put goggles or glasses on a character. So with these goggles on her and she's got her earrings and the wicked hair really loving that spider woman next up guys we do have a target exclusive miles morales and that this is just him in his plain regular clothes street attire i guess you could say he's definitely looking super sick love all the detail in his clothing and the shoes how he's holding his phone super sick then you do have a common miles morales in his suit a common spider gwen and then for an amazon exclusive we do have this translucent miles Morales. So for those of you who don't know, I'm sure many of you do though, Miles Morales does have the ability to go invisible. So this is a super sick pop. I like it. Kind of like the uh, Batman Beyond translucent chase that just came out, which was super sick. If you enjoy this type of content, consider hitting that like button, smashing that subscribe button. I make Funko Pop content every day for your enjoyment. So if that's something you're into, hit that little bell notification and then that way you'll know every time I drop a new video. We do have this GameStop exclusive. Gwen Stacy here and again I really like this one I love it when they do just the character and she's not in her suit or anything and she definitely looks perfect. Next up, guys, we do have this pop, The Spot. So I'm not familiar with this character, like, whatsoever. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. But he does appear to be stepping out of, like, a black hole. So maybe he has, like, teleportation powers or something like that. But definitely a super cool pop. And I love it when they do the pop, like, using their power. So in this case, he's using his power of teleportation, if I'm correct. And then one of the main features and my other favorite pop from this line guys is going to be the spider-man 2099 so they are doing a common pop by the looks of things and they are also doing a entertainment earth exclusive glow in the dark version both look super sick I don't know if it was the color choices for this one, guys, or just how they designed the pop, but I love how he looks like he looks like a glitch almost, which is how the Into the Spider-Verse kind of goes. Like everything gets all kind of glitchy when they do start going into the multiverse in that one. So I, I just love how they did this pop, and I love the colors that they chose for Spider-Man 2099. I just think this looks like super, super sick. So two supers, which is way better than one super. 
And then last but not least here, guys, we do have this. This is the Vulture, but this is the Medieval Vulture. So I'm definitely really curious to see what the backstory is on this guy. I love the Vulture character just in general. I was super stoked when they used him in Homecoming, the first Spider-Man movie for the MCU. But definitely a really sick pop, guys. The Funko's definitely killing me right now because I love all of these pops, all of the commons. Uh, I, normally, I can just get away with maybe getting some exclusives from a certain line, but this is going to be tough. I really love all these pops. They're just looking super sick. And on top of that, they just dropped the Target Con Spider-Mans, no, the No Way Home Funko Shop exclusive. With all that being said, it's super, super exciting to be collecting Funko Pops right now, guys. This is super, super sick. The new lineup here just looks amazing. All the new Spider-Mans they're coming out with. The amount of detail that Funko is putting into the figures I find these days is just amazing. And the quality, in my opinion, has been great. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Make sure to check out tomorrow's video. We are going Funko Pop hunting. So we'll catch you in the next video.